Hey, what's up? It's Metal Horror Gamer, and I'm here talking about Doom. Yes, about the the new Doom game that we haven't seen much of except one trailer. Now, I'm only talking about this because recently I've been playing Doom again, and I've been having a great time with it. Um, I recently watched the new Doom trailer again. I haven't watched it since it came out, and yeah, it looks really cool. But on the comment section, there seems to be a big divide about how the game should be so doom fans everywhere i'm asking you what do you want from this new doom or as i call it doom 4 because that's what it is now i can tell you what i want i want doom to have some of the best graphics out there but i want it to have some fast frantic gameplay with metal music playing over it i don't mind if it has story and cutscenes and maybe even upgradable weapons but doom 4 needs to start to blend the line of old and new fps games a few fps games are trying to do that now like shadow warrior and wolfenstein the new order old fps's have pros and cons just like new fps's have pros and cons now i'm not suggesting making all old or make it all new it needs to blend it together take the best from the old and the best from the new and create doom 4 that way Doom 4 needs to be the shooter of the decade. Doom 4 is the one title that can move FPS's in a new direction, a better direction than where they are at now. But can you believe there are some people who don't want to have a fast and frantic running game Doom. They want a slow, dark, predictable horror game. Look, Doom is not horror. Now, did Doom 1 and 2 have some scary moments? Yes, but it is never it never was intended to be a horror game. It was an action game all the way. You were a badass slaughtering demons left and right. That's what Doom is. It's it's high octane action where you're just dodging fireballs and everything all over the place, just blasting, just mowing down demons. That's what Doom is. Not walking in dark hallways with monster closets behind you every step of the way. Some people say that gameplay only works in the 90s and Doom needs to evolve. Like I've said before to other people, Doom 3 tried to evolve and it isn't looked fondly from most real fans of the Doom series. For the most part, it's usually ignored and not even played that often nowadays. There's a reason why Doom 1 and Doom 2 are still played today and people still create mods for them. Keep improving the game, making other mods that don't even look like Doom on there now. It's crazy. It's also the reason why most people don't even play Doom 3 at all anymore. Doom 3 is not bad, but it wasn't really a Doom game at all. The first trailer of Doom 3 marketed like it was Doom. It had the cool action, had the metal music, but then when you played it, you found out it really wasn't Doom at all. Now, if you were introduced to Doom with Doom 3, then you might not understand where a lot of fans are coming from. But for me, I don't see how anyone would rather have a slow Doom game over a fast action packed Doom game. You know, that's what Doom is. I'm gonna list everything in no particular order what I feel this next Doom needs. It needs to be fast. Lots of cool looking demons, old and new. Lots of cool and badass guns, new and old. You need to be able to carry all the guns at once and not have to choose only two or three of them. Maybe you can even let us dual wield some of them or even all of them like Wolfenstein did. No health regeneration, that's a big thing. Health regeneration makes games too easy. It needs to be gone. Abstract level design, some horror element. Maybe even be able to upgrade armor and weapons. Be able to pick up armor shards you know, to make sure your armor stays supplied. Lots of enemies on screen at once. That's a big thing. Doom 3 did not do that. Cool story for the campaign. It should have a campaign and it should have a story, but it needs to be good. Maybe even have multiple endings to increase the replayability for the, for the story mode. I don't mind levels that have lots of horror elements in it, but just not for the whole game. If you want to have a few levels where it's mostly horror, you know, I think every fan can do with a few levels like that, but not the whole game. It's just too much. Secrets. There must be secrets, secret rooms. I mean, it's not a first person shooter. There's not secrets all over the place. Going back to the abstract level design, I mean, the level design has to be where you can explore, not be cut off by invisible walls. And, and that goes to my next thing. No hallways that just end up being point A to point B like newer games. Face it, all, almost all new FPS's, the levels are designed a certain way to where it's just a long hallway. It's just point A to point B. That's what new game, the new FPS games are. And there's no exploration. And when you do, sometimes the game kills you for it. So that's not a good, that's not a good game design. That's bad game design. Why these younger people think that's a good game design? Obviously you have, you have not learned or taken anything about game design, so you don't know what good game design is. That's not good game design, that's bad. Why should I be punished for exploring? No hand holding. This is a big thing, no hand holding. Games have too much hand holding nowadays. Doom is a game that says, fuck you, either you get good at my game 
or you don't play. That's that's what Doom is. Either you get good or fuck off. No stupid tutorials. That goes with the, the no hand holding. When you start up a game, the one thing you don't want is a bunch of tutorials at the very beginning. Let us jump in the game and play it. And if we're confused about certain controls are, then you just pause it, go to the option menu, look at the controls. It's as simple as that. But don't stop my game. Don't put words all over my game to me. You gotta do this. You gotta press this to do that. No. That's for newer gamers that are too much of, I'm sorry to say, but too much of bitches to learn a game out for yourself. I'm sorry. It just, it's, it's true. And it's not your fault. These developers are treating you like little bitches for it, and you're and you're just you've just gotten used to it. It's not your fault. It's the gaming industry's fault for, for doing this to you. You know, newer gamers are really being handicapped by these developers. It's kind of sad. Now, this is a personal opinion of mine. No monster closets. What I mean by that is when every time like you picked up something, whoop, a monster behind you, monster behind you, monster behind you. The whole Doom 3 was nothing but that. So that's why a lot of people say it was predictable when you were playing it, because every time you knew, well if I grab this, there will probably be a few monsters come up behind me automatically, and it, every single time it fucking happened. Now, Doom should never be predictable. It should be overwhelming, not predictable. Now, let's have lots of difficulty options. You know, a lot of older FPS's had lots of different difficulties. The difficulty needs to be done a certain way like the older games, not the newer games. The newer games, when they come with difficulty, they don't change anything. All they do is make the enemies be able to take more bullets. And that's not harder, that's just annoying. What the older games did, the harder it was, the more enemies they added. That's the way difficulty should be. Now they're even more just bullet sponges than, than what they were before. So difficulty should be handled the way the old games were, not the new ones. Now, <clears throat> this is a big must. Doom must be moddable for fans. If you can't mod it, it's not Doom, okay? I want this game to have lots of fast and loud metal music playing over the actual gameplay with some with some of the horror levels having low ambient scary music uh, i can deal with that but who doesn't love that very first level of doom when it's got some metal music and you're going around shooting demons all over the place that's a great feeling that's what the whole game needs to be on the bigger action parts metal music blaring over the, the speakers that's what it needs now it must have multiplayer the multiplayer needs to be fast not like the newer game. It's got it's got to be like the way the Doom game was, or even Quake, you know, something like that. Now, newer newer fans may not like that, but hey, it's either step your game up or let let the real gamers play. Because you know, I want multiple multiplayer modes. But yeah, you know, I do want deathmatch. Now, personally, for me, any from the newer games, I like team deathmatch. So please have a team deathmatch. And I, I would love a horde style mode, obviously like horde and Gears of War. And with Doom, that'd be great. Endless waves of demons, you know, coming at you, just kidding them. You know, you and a group just kidding all of them. That would be fun. I would love to do that. So I, I hope that makes it in there. Um, this game could be the game to make FPS is what they need to be. I'm not saying completely go back to the old style. But I'm also saying don't be like Call of Duty or Battlefield or the newer games. It needs to blend, it needs to blend the lines of old and new. I kind of believe no game can take FPS to that next step. But Doom is a title that definitely can. It just... If Doom changes the, the genre, it just seems right because Doom is what changed the genre to begin with. But the game just has to be made correctly. If they want horror in there, that's okay. But this needs to be an action horror with action being the main theme of the game. This could be one of the greatest FPS's of all time. But as long as it's not built as an old or new game, it needs to take the elements from both and make a new standard for FPS games. This game will be on the new consoles, but I would have to recommend to everyone, get the PC version. Especially if they, are, if they allow modding, then the PC version will be a must. I'm curious to see what the real Doom fans would want to see from this game. Like I said, I'm not completely hating the horror elements. But it was just way too much in Doom 3. So I want to see what, what you other fans want in this Doom game. Like what do you really want to see? As in features or the gameplay style or the direction it's going in. But if you like Doom 3, I won't hate you for that. But I would like you to explain why you would want it like Doom 3. I don't want to just hear because those games are, the original games are old and running gun is lame. I want a real logical reason why you guys want Doom 3 over running gun why do you think that's better personally i don't think that's better but if you want to think that's better i'm i'm not gonna hate you for it 
That's your opinion. You, you have every right to your opinion. This is just my opinion. And I want a blend. A blend of the old and new. The best of each. To make an FPS like we've never seen before. It's going to be hard to do. It's going to be quite a challenge. And I don't know if they're up to it. I mean, all the guys that made Doom Doom aren't there no more. So, I don't know if they're up to it. Hopefully this Doom will be a real successor to Doom 1 and 2. and Because Doom 3 was not. Let's hope this one can be. So, again, let me know what you think about what I said. What, what do you guys want to see? I'm very curious to see what other fans want in this Doom game. Maybe you agree with my points. Maybe you don't. Well, let's just talk about that. I don't really care if you do or you don't. You know, because I'm interested in seeing what everyone thinks and what everyone has in their opinion. All right, well... That's going to be it for now for this video. Again, uh, leave your comments and let's talk about Doom and everything that's Doom. Because, you know, I am excited for this game. And I probably will get it. I don't know if I'll get it when it comes out. Unless it's really good. If it's really good, I might buy it day one. If not, then I might wait for a sale on Steam for it. It just depends. Cause I'm not a person that... I don't really buy games day one anymore. I usually wait for uh, cheaper prices. But, again... Um, this is my opinion for Doom. I want to hear everyone's opinion. Just go comment on it, but don't be like a fucking rude asshole in the comments. If anything that's really rude or completely stupid, I will just delete. I, I just uh, I don't want fans to have to deal with assholes in the comments. That's, that's just the way I am. I, I don't put up with it. You know, if you want to be an asshole somewhere else, be my guest. But you're not going to be an asshole on my page. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoy this metal horror game, and I hope to bring you more news on other comments on other gaming related news if i can find any that i can talk about or are really interesting so yeah that's pretty much it i'll see you guys uh next video later